Good morning YouTube. I am out in the fresh morning air and it is crisp and beautiful and I'm walking through a field full of possibly my favourite flower in the whole world and that's the amazing dandelion. The amazing dandelion. This awesome plant is probably my favourite weed of all time but there's no such thing as a weed. A weed is just a flower growing where someone doesn't want them to because this little plant is 100% edible and it's full of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. You can eat the petals, the leaves, the roots. You can make into an amazing coffee alternative that's surprisingly like coffee and nice and free. You can boil up these beautiful little flower heads and drain all the goodness out into a delicious dandelion honey. This plant is just 100% awesome. Now it's super easy to recognize this beautiful little flower because it grows all over the world. Of course, first you've got the amazing big yellow flower head. Now this actually opens in the morning to greet the sun and then closes at night to go asleep. How awesome is that? Then you've got the big hollow stem that's kind of tinted purple. And if you break it in half, it leaks a white milky sap. Now that's actually a natural latex. Then, you've got the big coarse tooth leaves. Now this is where dandelion actually got its name from because it's the, from the French, which means dent de lion, which is lion's tooth, referring to these big toothed jagged leaves. Now this amazing little yellow plant it's been used for thousands of years for not just its nutritional benefits, but its medicinal properties too. It's been used by the ancient Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans. It's used in traditional Chinese medicine. There's pretty much nowhere on earth that the dandelion's roots aren't embedded in its history because this beautiful little flower can be found almost anywhere on this planet. It's also really good for reducing cholesterol, regulating blood sugar, reducing inflammation, lowering blood pressure. There's limited but positive research in saying that it can reduce certain types of cancer. It can boost the immune system. It aids digestion. It's a diuretic. The list is just endless. In folk medicine, the dandelions referred to as the elixir of life because it cleanses the body of all of its negative energies. It's packed full of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, fiber. It's got vitamins in it such as A, C, K. It's also packed full of calcium, iron, and potassium. The dandelion is the only flower that represents not just the sun, the moon, but also the stars. You've got the flower that represents the sun, the puffball that represents the moon, and the flying seeds that represent the stars and they actually travel up to five miles once they're blown away. Now around the world, globally, we spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds every year trying to kill this beautiful little nutritious flower. How crazy is that? We spend hundreds of millions on dumping chemicals on this flower on our own lands to kill it, all while shipping other plants from the other side of the planet all the way to us for their healing properties when the dandelion has been used for its healing properties for thousands of years and it's just as good as many of the things from halfway across the planet. Where's the sense in that? So next time you find yourself walking through a field of dandelions, let's see the dandelion for what it really is. It's not a weed, it's a beautiful flower that's nutritious, medicinal, and it wants nothing more than to soldier on, to grow, and to open every morning and greet the morning sun. We could all probably take a leaf out the dandelions book. As always, thank you all for watching our channel. We really, really appreciate every single one of you. So if you could like, comment and subscribe, that really empowers us and helps us grow our channel so we can keep making our awesome little videos. So that's it. So in the wise words of Beale and Ted, be excellent to each other.